Hey guys, Cody with CJC Offroad, and today we're going to be talking about Dodge ball joints. Now, we're going to be showing the differences between three major brands of ball joints that we have found to be the most reliable and the strongest out there for the 03 to 12 Dodge platform. Now, today we have a Carly, Dynatrack, and EMF. All right, now I know we're going to get a lot of questions on why we didn't use XRF or Moog or even a factory replacement. Well, to be truthful, your factory ball joints wore out for a reason, so we just ruled those out. XRF I personally used on a truck where I actually broke the axle completely out of the truck, put in brand new housing with XRFs, and it was replaced with Dynatrax pretty shortly after just because they wore out. And lastly, Moog, I'm really not a fan. You can Google reviews and stuff like that, but it's really something that we would say in order to not pay labor twice or buy two sets of ball joints, you're better off just buying one set up front that's gonna last for the lifetime of the truck. Now, if you're not familiar with where the ball joints are in your truck, they basically sit on the axle C of your front axle and allow your steering to pivot. Now, a lot of common symptoms of worn ball joints are gonna be grinding, popping, dartiness, um, or really any other strange road characteristic that kind of has you in a seesaw motion going across the highway. Now, this is an EMF ball joint. These are the most economical ball joints of the three that we're comparing today. It's a sealed, greasable, and also adjustable ball joint. The adjustability is a patented design from EMF, and it basically allows you to adjust play out of the ball joint if some is developed. Now, the thing is, eventually you will adjust too far and you'll run out of adjustment, in which case you will need to buy a rebuild kit. Now, these are gonna be an excellent option if you're on a budget, but still wanna replace your factory ball joints with something that's actually gonna last and something you won't have to press out next year and do the whole operation over again. Now these ball joints are available in both a standard and oversized configuration. The standard is going to be if you're just pressing out your old factory ball joints and pressing in new ones, but the oversize is really going to be good for if you've done XRF Moog or part store ball joints multiple times, the chances are your bore is kind of worn on your axle. The oversized ball joint is slightly just that, oversized, and it'll take a better seat in the ball joint bore versus a standard ball joint. Now these ball joints retail at $530 with free shipping to the lower 48 and they have a lifetime warranty against defect, however, no warranty against wear. This is a Dynatrack ball joint. They're fully rebuildable on the truck. They're sealed, they're also greasable. And this design is proprietary to Dynatrack. They've developed it over years of Jeep experience, Dana platform experience, as well as the Dodge platform. Now these retail at 759, so a little bit more than the EMFs. You can't adjust the play out of them. However, in six years of business, we've sold four rebuild kits, so I'd say they're pretty hardy. Most of those trucks were used in jumping videos or down in Baja, Mexico. Now these ball joints are available also in a standard and a knurled configuration. Now the knurled configuration is what you'll want to use if you're replacing Moogs, XRFs, any parts store ball joints that may have stretched the bore on your axle. Now these ball joints are also zinc coated so they will not rust and they do have a lifetime warranty against manufacturer's defects. Lastly, we have the Carly ball joint. Now these ball joints have a lifetime warranty, which is also what makes them the most expensive ball joint we carry. Now for $800, you get a set of four, a tube of grease, an install tool, um, similar to the EMF. It's basically a tool to minimize damage while being installed. Now these ball joints, because of their lifetime warranty, are not rebuildable. Uh, essentially, Carly, in order to get the warranty process, you basically have to get wear that goes outside of what the manufacturer uh, Dodge specs for the axle. Now the cost of these ball joints really comes from the fact that it's supposed to be your last set of ball joints that you ever buy. The material, the coating, the thickness all play a factor in why this ball joint will not wear out. These ball joints are only available in a standard configuration, not knurled or oversized. If you have had a bunch of ball joints pressed in and out of your axle, we do link a video down below that shows you how to properly install them. Now these ball joints retail $800 with free shipping to anywhere in the world. I hope this video has made your hunt for ball joints a little bit easier. All these ball joints can be found on our website, cjcoffroad.com, or in the links below. If you have any questions on installation or uh, will these fit your truck, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, sales at cjcoffroad.com. We'll be happy to help. Now, if you have purchased ball joints from us and you've also watched our installation video and you still have questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email even on the weekends. We'll be happy to walk you through the process.